get ready to embark on an extraordinary adventure through the life of a football legend. Welcome to the captivating story of Ronaldo Luis Nazario de Lima, fondly known as Ronaldo. Join us as we delve into the highs, lows, and triumphs that shaped the career of one of the greatest footballers to have graced the pitch. Born in the vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro, Ronaldo's love affair with football began at a tender age. With a ball at his feet and dreams in his eyes, he honed his skills on the dusty streets, displaying an innate talent that would soon captivate the world. The youth of Ronaldo Luis Nazario de Lima was a chapter of determination, hard work, and the unwavering pursuit of excellence. It was during this formative period that the foundation of a football legend was laid. Born on September 18, 1976, in Bento Ribeiro, Brazil, Ronaldo grew up in a challenging environment. His family faced financial hardships, but young Ronaldo's love for football became his guiding light. Ronaldo dropped out of school shortly after he became 11 years old to pursue a career in football. He played on the streets of Bento Ribeiro, a suburb of Rio de Janeiro. His mother states, I always found him on the street playing ball with friends when he should have been in school. I know I lost my battle. He joined the Social Ramos futsal team at the age of 12 and led the city's youth league in scoring with a record 166 goals in his first season, which included scoring 11 of his team's 12 goals in a single game. Crediting futsal for developing his skills, Ronaldo has said, Futsal will always be my first love. His coach from Social Ramos, Alirio Carvalho, says, What was special about Ronaldo was his attitude. It was as if he had come from the moon. Nothing disturbed him, nothing overawed him. Nothing threw him off his game. After all successes Ronaldo faced throughout his career, his local youth club São Cristóvão de Futebol e Regatas renamed their stadium to him. Estadio Ronaldo Luis Nazario de Lima. What a honor. This is the place where Ronaldo played on the pitch and also futsal, where he would get scouted within two years by Cruzeiro. Leaving behind his family and hometown, Ronaldo embarked on a journey that would shape his destiny. He joined the renowned youth academy of Cruzeiro Esporte Clube, where his skills were refined and his potential began to flourish. Ronaldo's rise to prominence at Cruzeiro was a testament to his determination and perseverance. Despite facing numerous obstacles, he shattered barriers and proved that talent knows no boundaries. Ronaldo's exceptional skills caught the attention of talent scouts, leading him to join the youth academy of Cruzeiro Esporte Clube at the age of 16. His meteoric rise continued as he secured a spot in the senior team at just 16. The footballing world took notice as Ronaldo dazzled with his extraordinary speed, agility and goal-scoring instincts. His meteoric rise led him to don the jerseys of renowned clubs such as PSV Eindhoven and Barcelona, where he set the stage ablaze with his incredible performances. At just 19 years old, Ronaldo became top scorer in his debut season in the Netherlands. He scored 30 which earned him a transfer to Barcelona. Despite facing injuries and setbacks, Ronaldo's resilience shone through. His time at Barcelona showcased his sheer determination and ability to overcome adversity. Once again became top scorer of the league, 34 goals. That's nine more than top scorer to Alfonso Perez, oh fenomeno for a reason. Then he went to Italy because he needed a new challenge. Inter Milan brought him his first Ballon d'Or. Injuries threatened to derail Ronaldo's career but his unwavering spirit proved indomitable. With determination and a fierce desire to reclaim his place at the top, he defied all odds, returning to the field stronger than ever. The FIFA World Cup became the stage for Ronaldo's ultimate triumph. Days before the tournament of 2002, tragedy struck. Ronaldo suffered a setback with a mysterious injury, casting doubts over his ability to even take the field. The world wondered if he would recover in time, leaving Brazil's hopes hanging by a thread. With the support of his team, medical staff, and unwavering faith, he defied the odds and emerged stronger than ever. Ronaldo returned, this time with a new haircut. Yes, that haircut. When the tournament kicked off, his return was met with a mix of excitement and skepticism. But he silenced the doubters, proving that his passion for the game and his indomitable spirit were stronger than ever. Ronaldo unleashed a level of footballing brilliance that mesmerized the world. 
His explosive pace, clinical finishing, and telepathic connection with his teammates made him an unstoppable force. In the final, Ronaldo and Brazil faced their ultimate test. With the nation's hopes on their shoulders, they delivered a performance for the ages. Ronaldo's brace in the final sealed their triumph, and the redemption of 1998 was finally realized. Ronaldo transformed himself from a player battling doubts into the hero who led Brazil to their record-breaking fifth title. From the heartbreak of 1998 to the sheer brilliance of 2002, he showcased his remarkable talent, leading Brazil to glory and etching his name in footballing history. Ronaldo's brilliance continued to amaze as he donned the colors of some of the world's most iconic clubs. Each step of his journey brought unforgettable moments and a legacy that would endure. In the year of the World Cup win, Ronaldo received his second Ballon d'Or. Ronaldo was on a mission to return to Milan from Madrid, preferably Inter, but that didn't happen. So AC Milan striked and received his autograph. In the season of 2008, Milan were behind, so Ancelotti turned to Ronaldo just before the hour mark in the hope that he could once again spark a revival. Within a minute, he was challenging for a header in the box with Livorno's Jose Vidgal. It was a challenge that he would unfortunately lose in spectacular fashion as his left leg gave way beneath him and sent him sprawling to the ground, a familiar agony exploding through his knee. As the man who was twice recognized as the best player on the planet was stretched off the pitch, his hands covering his face, everyone in the stadium knew that it was goodbye. Goodbye to one of the purest strikers to ever play the game. Goodbye to a career laced with controversy and intrigue. Goodbye to O Phenomeno. Unsurprisingly, the diagnosis wasn't good. At the age of 31, and already of questionable fitness, he would not return to the squad and left Milan once his contract ran out at the end of the season. The team finished a disappointing fifth in the league and crashed out of the Champions League against Arsenal in the last 16, just a few weeks after Ronaldo's injury. Ronaldo lost his hunger to play at a top level, so he joined Corinthians to enjoy football again for one last time. Even after offers from PSG and Manchester City, he chose Corinthians. In his first year back, he got named Best Footballer of the Year in Brazil, and in 2010, he got called up again for the national team but turned that offer down. In February 2011, it was announced that Ronaldo would be given one last match for Brazil, a friendly against Romania in Sao Paulo on the 7th of June 2011, five years after his last match with the national team. Brazilian Football Confederation official Ricardo Teixeira stated that it was fitting that his final game should take place in Brazil while representing his nation. Ronaldo played for 15 minutes in a match that ended with a Brazilian victory with a goal from Fred. Fred celebrated his goal with Ronaldo's famous finger wag celebration, along with his Brazilian teammates. Ronaldo was introduced after 30 minutes partnering 19-year-old Neymar in attack and had three shots on target which were saved by the Romanian goalkeeper. After the first half ended, Ronaldo made a farewell speech to the crowd. With 62 goals for Brazil, Ronaldo retired from international football as the second highest goal scorer for his country, behind only Pele. Age 34, Ronaldo could finally rest. Oh, Fenomeno retired. Ronaldo's legacy extends far beyond his on-field exploits. With numerous accolades and individual honors, he left an indelible mark on the game, inspiring generations of aspiring footballers to chase their dreams and reach for greatness. Beyond the field, Ronaldo has dedicated himself to making a difference in the lives of others. Through his charitable work, he has touched countless hearts and continues to inspire. A true footballing phenomenon. His unmatched skill, tenacity, and unwavering passion for the game have solidified his place among the all-time greats. Ronaldo's story is a testament to the power of perseverance, reminding us that dreams can indeed become a reality. Don't miss this extraordinary video that will transport you through the extraordinary life of Ronaldo. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel to join the global community celebrating the legacy of an icon. For now, goodbye. Until next time when we cover the story of another legend.